Hi friends, Miss Hazel here. And Miss Kate. All right, today I'm trying to come up, I like jazzy names for things, and today's project I'm calling A Tribute to the Mighty Oak with the littlest acorn and the leaf. So we're gonna make a decoration. It could be a centerpiece. We're gonna make one, but if you were feeling ambitious, you could make several and put them together and they could be a centerpiece or could just be out for a fall decoration. So we'll get started. Oh, first I wanna talk about these acorns. They come from a, um, an organ, um, Kate found them online, Miss Kate found them online. My family's nuts. And they pick acorns. Do you remember where they're from? Sure. Uh, just one sec. You keep talking and I'll tell you where they're from. I think they're from California. Anyway. No, no, they're not. No, they're, they're not. State. No. Uh, all right. Okay. Well, here we go. The mighty, ah, this will become a mighty oak tree. Okay. So they pick them, they cure them, bake them in the oven, make them so that there's no bugs in them. And um, look at this guy. It's a double, a double acorn twin. Um, okay enough about our acorns. That's where we got them. We also will have some wooden acorns in your basket as well because we're not sure how long acorns will last. Also, the Ohlone people that were native to our areas, a lot of their nutrition came from the acorn, the mighty oak. Okay, here we go. Um, just in case you want to know, Lemonster, Massachusetts. Lemonster, Massachusetts. Thank you to my family's nuts for sending us your acorns. Okay, so first I cut out a pattern. Then I cut out the pattern onto my felt. This time I used kind of felt that's a little bit stiff. So I've got a little more shape to it. So it's kind of not a lot of sewing, but um, just a little bit. So where I've made these little cuts, we're going to hook it together, you can see, and I'm gonna use a paper clip. If you were a sewer that was, um, sewers often use like pins, but I didn't want anybody to get poked and I thought that the um, paper clip would work just fine. So I'm clipping them together so I know that that's where I wanna sew it, just like that. Okay, now I've got my needle and thread. I've got a knot on the end of my thread. I'm gonna start from the bottom and I'm gonna go in and up and down. I'm gonna go three times, I think. I don't, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just wanna hook them together. And if you're, you don't wanna sew your paper clip, so just move that if you need to. Paper clip is just there to hold your leaf in place. So I've made three stitches, one, two, three, now I'm gonna remove the paper clip and on the edge of my, I'm gonna make a couple of extra stitches just to lock them in. I'm gonna go two stitches this time. Ah, one and two. And then I'm gonna trim. I'm gonna make another knot. Friends that might need tips on sewing, we have a whole video on sewing with little friends if you wanna check that out. Okay, going back through the bottom, making some stitches in and out. It's very quiet, Miss Kate. Okay, now I'm gonna take my paper clip off. Yes, Miss Kate? If someone wanted to do this but weren't, part of our program so they yeah. can get the bag. What yeah. kind of felt are you using? Well, I think it's like crafting felt, but it's there's different kinds of felt. There's really softy felt. This one is really stiff. I could look at the package and tell you, Miss Kate, but I know where the package felt. is. But we just look for stiff felt. Yeah, it's right here. Okay. Hang on, let me go to my work area. Here's a whole big pack of it. Craft patchwork. Okay, it's just thick. I mean, it's just thick, thick. felt. Stick. Yep, okay. okay, we'll leave it right here in my, okay, now I've made my, my basket, just like that, I made my leaf basket. It's so cool. Okay, now that's over there. See, if they were together, you could make different colors and you could have them on your centerpiece or you could have one. Now the fun part, I've got little acorns inside there 
and I did some painting of these acorns and I wanted to share with you what I learned. I'm using acrylic paint because it dries super fast and um, I think it can cover pretty well. But because it's a natural product and it's a nut, the paint went and just grabbed it all up and kind of changed the colors. So this was my bright red. It's this really pretty red. So what I discovered is if you want a bright colored acorn, you need to start with white and let it dry. It'll dry pretty quick. I did this one earlier. So I this one has white underneath it and then a coat of yellow. So if you want bright colors, you're going to have to um, wait in between for it to dry. I did not color the hats of my acorns. I just colored the bottoms. So when you get the color that you like, color it, let it dry. This would be something that you might have to be patient. You could put some newspaper. Oh, look, I have some right here underneath and let your acorn dry. And then when it's dry, put another coat on it. And if you want it to be interesting, this guy is white with little polka dots. And I made those by using a toothpick. I just dipped it in and I made little dots on it just like that. So you could think about what kind of designs you could put on your acorns. This guy is blue. You can hardly tell. And he has a yellow stripe. This is red. Very pretty. You could also just have plain acorns. Here's my white acorn. I'll show you. Yeah, you got it. You get the idea. You could just be super creative. I like the polka dotty ones. You could turn them into little people too. They're hilarious with their funny little hats. It's kind of up to you. It's your celebration of fall. So I think there you have it. You've got your leaf. I don't want to put those in there now because they're wet, but I'll put some of these in here so you get an idea. And happy arting in the fall like this. If you like this project and you would like to see more of what we do, you can subscribe to our channel, Alameda Arts on YouTube. And you could send us any pictures of anything you do. Hashtag Alameda Arts Fun, right? Yes, and don't forget our Spot the Difference game. Oh, if you stay on this video at the end, you'll find a Spot the Difference game. Okay, is that right, Miss Kate? No. If you are watching this video and you so notice something from another video out. that's different, oh, yeah. send us an email or a text. Okay. Just do it. Okay. All right, friends. So if you like this video, you can hashtag Alameda Arts Fun and send us a picture to Instagram. Also, we challenge you to look at previous videos and see if you can spot any differences behind me. If you do, send us an email, info at Alameda Arts, and we'll send you a prize. Tell us what you saw that was different. Let us know, okay? Have fun, you guys. Take good care. 